images on the day that Israelis are being slaughtered in their beds. What have you done about this? The problem is when we have people like Barack Obama who lie about their involvement, they lie about the history and all of those things, you end up also getting a set of people in government who are not very good people. One of those not very good people is a woman by the name of Nejwa Ali. And it turns out that she is working at the Department of Homeland Security and she is a radical Palestinian activist. And it, you might be concerned in light of what's happening with the border and people calling to destroy Israel and destroy America, take over the West and the chance for the Muslim armies in London to take over that country. You might not want someone like this working in the Department of Homeland Security. So one politician who's actually pretty decent is Republican Josh Hawley. And there was a hearing on uh, this lady. Well, there was a hearing on the border largely. And uh, he got into it with uh, Alexander Alejandro, sorry, Alejandro Mayorkas, about uh, this radical Palestinian employee of the Department of Homeland Security. So let, let me ask you about people who say other things. What about people who say things like, on October the 7th, F Israel, I'm cleaning up the language here, F Israel, the government and its military, are you ready for your downfall? People who say things like, F Israel and any Jew who supports Israel. May your conscience haunt your dreams until your last breath. Palestine will be free one day. F apartheid Israel and is any Israeli. What, this is pretty extreme rhetoric, don't you think? Senator, um, I do, and I think there is a distinction between espousing or endorsing terrorist ideology and uh, speech uh, that is uh, odious, that does not rise to that um, level. Fair enough. This person works for you. This is Nuja Ali, an employee of the Department of Homeland Security, who posted these comments on October the 7th. That's not all she posted. This is a paraglider, a Hamas paraglider, depicted here with a machine gun flying into Israel. She posted it under her online alias with the celebratory Free Palestine. Mr. Secretary, what, what's going on here? Is this, is this typical of, of people who work at DHS? This is an asylum and immigration officer who is posting these, frankly, pro-genocidal slogans and images on the day that Israelis are being slaughtered in their beds. What have you done about this? Four things I'd like to say to you. Number one, your question to suggest that it, that is emblematic of the men and women of the Department of Homeland Security is despicable. Number I'm sorry, two, what have you, this person works for the Department of Homeland Security. Have you fired her? That was one of four answers. Have you fired her? I'm not even getting into the other three. How dare you ask me? How dare you besmirch the good name of the people of Department of Homeland Security just because some lady who put up a poster of a guy paragliding with a gun into Israel after they, it's just extraordinary. The other extraordinary thing, of course, is his eyebrows. Mayorkas' eyebrows. We, I want to do a whole, uh, can we do a documentary about Mayorkas' eyebrows? We're going to go out on the road. I want to talk to eyebrow ex experts all over the world, find out what's going on there. Okay, it, it turns out that this woman has been promoted. No, just kidding. Uh, she, is, she is temporarily suspended, so at least they did something there.